If, if you want to say Trinidad, you say Pan. Not even Calypso, because Calypso, you can find a certain tradition of Calypso up the islands and so on. But Pan is totally ours, and it's the only source of, um, you know, Trinidad, tr Trinidadianism. When you say Trinidad, you say Pan, because we created that. It came out of us. Until it's like considered the, the rail behind the bridge area. When Desperados come down off the hill, you find that it's like the whole of Lavantil coming down. You know, it's like Desperados is a representative of Lavantil. In a sense, every time you make a trip up the hill, it's like a pilgrimage. Because even if you go to the, the Desperados Pania, it's like you're making a pilgrimage to the music, you know, to where Rudolf Charles was, where the, where the hammer might be. I always see that Lavantil is sort of a mystical, even through, through all the pain, the winding up that hill, through all the strife, you can see strife all around you going up the hill, but um, at the same time, it's like a journey towards something so beautiful, you know? The bands in this area come from a more um, downtrodden setting that you find that um, they have more to, to go for. They have, they have a, a deeper hunger. The steel bands that are shipped, you know? And instead of water, we have people. people the people, is the sea that the ship floats on. Well, a panyard is where the pan players gather to really make the music. It's like the center of the community. People come together not just to play music, but to meet and to understand each other more. Well, it's rehearsal time for Carnival, you know, where they try to, um, the, the bands pick out the, the songs that are most suitable musically for them. But the tune you're doing is what? Carnival now? By David Rudder. How far have you got in it? About six to eight minutes in the tune so far. Beverly Griffith is arranging, right? Yes, he's arranging. How many minutes has he put down so far? About six to eight minutes. Six About six. Eight minutes, yeah. Uh-huh. Great. Let me hear some of it now. All of the developments of sinking, of marking out of the surface of the drum to get specific sounds occurred. So that by the dawn of the 50s, you started to have whole tunes played on a whole variety of different instruments, different pitches. You hear music, even the, the classical repertoire, in new and very interesting ways. Um, very often if I'm doing something by a, a classical composer, I can think to myself, ah oh boy Mozart, if you were around, you might have chosen this instrument rather than the one you originally wrote the piece for. Somewhere up in Lavanti, many years ago, a man had a hammer, used to follow him to and fro. He used to use it upon a pan, or sometimes a stupid man, all in the savannah. Never miss panorama. One day the old hammer just disappeared. Ooh. Some say that it vanished into the air. Yeah. Are we the man with the hammer gun? Rudolf Charles, being the leader of Desperados, was like the tribal chief, you know? So it's like when he passed away, it was like the great chief has died. So it's like um, 
this is why this, this, this the funeral the funeral is so was so massive and so the vibration was so powerful because it was more than the rule of jazz. He was just a, a symbol of the pride of Lavantil, which is really the steel band, which is really the music of Lavantil. The hammer is the key to the music. That's why we are, so, we are seeking the hammer, because if you, if you lose the hammer, you lose the key to the music. Pan now came from this area we are in here now, and was struggled of a man trying to say, well, listen, I am a man. You know, it's like, um, I have something to, to give, too. And it's out of this, as the song says, this muddy pond, that this, this flower, the pan came out of. In the Steel Band Finals, known in Carnival's language as Panorama, Desperados plays third out of 13 finalists. Edmund Hart's Out of This World is still on stage here at the Queen's Park Savannah. 3,000 strong this band, and I suppose it will take about another half an hour to cross the stage. One of the most the remarkable thing is in Carnival is the fact that the ratio of women to men is 9 to 1. It was reflected in one of the Calypso's, Woman is Boss. Another Calypsonian invited women to be outrageous and get on bad. And they do, and I expect by Rush Wednesday they go back to their professional jobs and their state families in the richest suburbs of the capital. Meanwhile in Carnival, woman is boss. Here the full spread of color in Edmund Hart's out of this world. A major contender for this year's Band of the Year title. Those hats remind me of English country ladies having tea, as it were. There are about four or five bands that are carrying numbers of this size. Most of them are fast and the audience is waiting you know, for the man who is known controversially as King Carnival, Peter Minchel, is you on stage here soon. Expectancy is high. Peter Minchel's offering is likely to be dread this year. Okay, and that's all about what we've got time for today. Trinidad Carnival never disappoints. This vital explosion of art and energy renews itself annually and has done so for 100 years. Perhaps this is what Carnival Fever is all about. While the revelry here goes on for another seven hours or so, we have got to go back to Tom at the Toulouse Cabaret in New Orleans. Thank you. Give us back our microphones. Control, please. Yes. Thank you, Dacus Howe, and fellow Trinbegonians, all who are viewing this coverage of the greatest show on earth, Trinidad and Tobago Carnival, for the past half hour, our carnival, our Calypsonians, our lifestyle has been exhibited to the world at large. Millions of people now know more about Sparrow and Kitchener and David Rudder.
and about the tuning and playing of fans and about the way we play mass in Trinidad and Tobago and we thank the folks at the British Broadcasting Corporation for this opportunity for the world to be witness to what we proudly acclaim to be the greatest show on earth. But we are back.